for all the people on the microphone, for all the people that have a song, <clears throat> let's never forget our own. So please pass the mic. No need to worry, no need to think twice. But please pass the mic. Let our voices learn to unite. Please pass the mic. Let the inspiration inspire unity and let us enlighten. Please pass the mic. Let the positive energy <coughs> surge and let that energy ignite. So please pass the mic. To give knowledge to a power. Please pass the mic. Maintain peace. Sustain power. Please pass the mic. All right, all right. Thank you for being with us today. This is our third episode of Please Pass the Mic. My name is Taomi Ray. I am your host. I am so glad that you guys could stop by and hang out with us for a few moments. Uh, we have an independent show today. We don't have any guests, but we want to call this episode the motivational moment. I really want you all to be motivated and to be inspired and empowered and enlightened uh, under every circumstance. So I thought I'd come share some prayers and some new poetry with you on today uh, as you get through your summer. I hope you had a good 4th of July. I hope you uh, enjoyed all the activities that you got a chance to participate in. If you didn't get a chance to do uh, anything for Juneteenth, uh, I hope that you can go and do some research and find some things that are cool uh, for future references so that you can get involved when the summer comes. The summertime is a good time to do positive things. Anytime is a good time to do positive things. So we just want you guys to continue to be inspired under all circumstances. So I'm going to take you to our first commercial and I'm going to just let you vibe off of what we've got. Uh, got a couple of new things to share with you today, but the most, the most important part of today's episode is going to be motivation and uh, inspiration. I'm going to do a prayer with you. I'm going to share a new piece of poetry that uh, has a very motivational feel to it. Uh, and I'd love to just have you guys give some feedback or comments in the comment section or send a reply uh, to let us know how you're feeling about these episodes. And we appreciate each one of you for being on here today. So stay tuned. We're going to share our screen and get you a quick commercial. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to continue on with our show today. Um, obviously, the intro commercial just gives information about the products from Tell Me Right. Recently, I put out a new book, The Poet's Journey 8, The Empire Mindset. Uh, it's available on Amazon. Uh, it became available June 15. Uh, the Kindle version became available June 30. When you get time, check it out. Give a review. Purchase as a gift or for yourself. Um, we really appreciate all of the support that we get from our online viewers and our 
virtual audience. We really, really appreciate everyone's uh, support and all of your efforts to continue to support the arts and to support your local authors and your local artists. We all need your support uh, in terms of helping us to continue with our brand. So we're here today to, to let you know that I'm telling you, things in life can get really difficult. They can get really frustrating. And I want you to be encouraged. So what I want to do with today's show is take a moment and pray with you. Uh, and as I pray with you, I want you to turn around and try to pray with or for someone else. So I'm going to share my screen one more time. And I'm going to get this prayer up. And I just need you to clear your heart, clear your mind. And let's just try to thank God for being a good God. If you're not a religious person, if you don't pray, then take a moment of silence. So I'm going to share my screen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you right now in the most humble way that we know how. We want to thank you for everything that you are, everything that you have been, and all that you will continue to be. As we go on this journey, and as we continue to strive towards excellence, we want to pray to you today. And we want to seek your mercies. We want to ask for your forgiveness of all things done known and unknown that we need to repent for. Any and everything that has taken place, God, we pray that you will forgive us. We pray that you will hear us. We pray that you will heal us. The time is ripe for us. It's never too long day, it's never too late in the night to ask, God, can you help us make it right? Can you help us as we go along the way and do everything that we need to do? God, we need you each and every day. So for this motivational moment, God, we pray that you will see us that you will help us to learn what it is that you need us to do. We need to learn to be us. We don't need to be anything other than what you have planned for us. So with this motivational moment, we pray. We pray for motivation. We pray to heal the ills of our civilization. There are so many things going wrong. There are so many things that are causing us to write old and new sad songs. But God, we need peace. We need peace. Peace in our world, peace in our homes, peace in our minds. And God, for whatever the time, we need you to know that we love you and that we thank you, and that there is no one above you for any situation that we're dealing with, parenthood, adulthood, job-related issues, relationship struggles. God, we pray for everyone today, each and every person that tunes into this <coughs> broadcast. God, we pray that they can have and even make a great day. We've had so many bad yesterdays. We've had so many tired nights. We've had so many useless fights. We've had so many things that have come into everything that we need to do, God. We need you. We need you. And know it is with this motivational moment that I pray to you for each and every one. Under the sound of my voice, we pray for motivation on this day.
Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to their prayer. For me, this is a long time. I'm not to go with these segments, but I think I need to try to create the opportunity to pray. At some point in time throughout these episodes, there will be a prayer session. So if prayer is not your thing, it's okay. It's okay. But I want to speak to that prayer. There are so many of us that are struggling with everyday life situations and, and trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. You know, as a parent, I have adult children. Um, I've been an educator 23 years I've worked with parents dealing with their children. So the whole concept of raising children, of balancing work, of trying to have a relationship. Those of you that know, you know I've been married more than one time. So with this uh, second husband that I have, thank God for T.D. Coop, the classic, uh, sticking on around, I thank God for his uh, excellence. He's an awesome, amazing man, and I appreciate him. But I understand what it's like to be in a relationship that does not work. And if you have to leave it, or if you have to separate from it, or if you have to reconcile with it, all of those things are ab absolutely possible. Whatever you have to do. If you have to leave it for good and say deuces, if you have to give it a moment and come back to it and see can you rekindle it, or if it just rekindles, then do it. Just do it. So I just want to encourage all of you on today to just be good people, okay? Again, I'm very excited about my newest release, my uh, Empire Minded album also just released, uh, and I am extremely si excited about that. So if you, again, have not uh, checked out my Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Taomi3000. Check that page out. I will have that in the comments and you definitely can go click these links. You can purchase a book if you want to. You can listen to uh, the iTunes and the Spotify, uh, iHeartRadio. You can listen where you're available. You're able to listen to the new sounds of the Empire Minded uh, new album. So yes, that was released uh, literally, I want to say Monday of this week. So I don't do a lot of big promotions for my projects. I, I'm just excited to have this creativity within me to be able to put, put these things out. And I want to encourage people who are also creatives to continue to do things independently. If you have a, a record label, if you have a, a book deal, then push it to the limit. But if you don't, you don't have to feel like you still can't do your work. You can still do all the creative things that are inside of you and just push them on out. Well, let's see what happens. You know, strategies are good. You should have a marketing strategy. You should have people. You should have a team. But if you don't, if, you're just, if it's just you, then do what you do. Okay? You're still awesome. You're still awesome. What else do I have? Okay. I know what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to read you this new piece and I'm going to play for you something off of the new album that I hope you will enjoy so this new piece is not a part of the album this is just something that I came up with that's motivationally inspired and inspirational um so I'm going to just read this for you it's called the company we keep 1 Corinthians 15th chapter and verse 33 it says, be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. It can create a situation where you will do bad deeds. Be careful of whom you keep company. Corrupting your behavior makes you behave dysfunctionally, the opposite of normally, the absence of normalcy. Negative energy can affect one psychologically. It can affect one's biology. The body is a temple and it was born clean. No impurities until negativity is seen. From the first light and the first sight of negativity, we are challenged as human beings. We wrestle with what we are seeing. We must make good choices about the company we bring. The friend indeed might just be a friend in need. Beware of the attachments created all the while some are out to plot 
and scheme. Things are not always what they seem. Observe carefully and analyze what has been seen. Pray every day and pray again in between. Seek the Lord in all your ways and he will direct you toward better things. The company we bring and the company we keep says a lot about what it is in life we seek. Hiding in plain sight, some will convince you that darkness is right. Darkness will encourage you to believe it is the light. So choose your friends wisely, choose them right. Detach from that which is toxic. The damaged mind will corrupt those who want to do right. The company we bring and the company we keep can at times turn into a game of hide and seek. Hide the secret, hide the lie. Don't tell, just keep this between you and I. That's when you know, that's when it's time to go. So you may never know why, but that's when it's time to end the friendship and just simply say goodbye. Okay, sometimes you just gotta let things go. Sometimes you just have to move forward. Everybody's not for you. You know, I don't care if y'all been friends since kindergarten. Kindergarten's over. You have to figure out what's doing things to you that's creating negative energy. And if it's people, you're going to have to point them out. And you're going to have to do something about that. So I got, I got inspired to write this because I had watched the uh, Bobby Christina story on TV One. And I thought that was such an interesting portrayal of uh, the situation. Uh, although all of the information is still under investigation, I see where they were going with that. That boy, she didn't let that boy come stay in their house. The next thing you know, people coming up dead. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Trying to be friends with people and trying to bring people into your circle. And next thing you know, things start changing around and looking weird and all that. Next thing people coming up missing it dead. See, see, mm-hmm. So that's why I ever watch the company you keep. Okay. <laughs> watch the company you keep. Mm -hmm. It's very important that you decide who to let in your circle and who to keep over there. Over there. Mm -hmm. So I don't have much else for you today, uh, wonderful people. Uh, but I am going to play one more piece of spoken word for you. Uh, from the new Empire Minded album, and then I'm gonna do an outro, and we're we're done for today. I got to pray with you. I got to share a new piece of poetry with you. Ultimately, what I wanted to do for you today on this third episode was to give you some motivation, let you know that somebody loves you, okay? And if nobody acts like they love you, love yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep your head up. So let me get something going for you that I hope you will enjoy. I have such um, a great time uh, having time off during the summer to do uh, things that are creative. I mean, I don't always have this time to do these creative things. So when I get the opportunity to do these things, I am so happy that I, I, I can. I'm so happy that I can. So I'm going to I'm going to share with you a piece that I call it's called work hard I work hard for my money. Mm -hmm, you know I do. So let's listen. I work hard for my money. I work so hard for the honey. I'm gonna need you to know that everywhere you go, you're gonna have to work for it. If you want it, you're going to have to go get it. You're going to have to quit acting like people are supposed to hand it to you on a silver platter. You need to forget it. Because I work hard for my money. When you get here, you're by yourself. When you leave, there's no one else. You're going to be born alone, and you're going to die alone. Everything you have to do, you have to learn how to do it on your own. So you're going to have to work hard for your money. You can't keep expecting a shortcut. You can't keep expecting a hookup. You can't keep hoping and thinking and dreaming for somebody to slip up because, you see, I work hard for my money. And I don't have time for overloaded lies. I have no use for what some people loosely call truth. I work hard for my money. 
And I bet you better give me mine. I bet every time it pertains to my dime. Every time I clock in on this clock, every time I'm on your watch, you better make sure you pay me. You better make sure you respect my check. I don't have time for things to come up short looking incorrect. Pay me that which is correct. Because I work hard for my money. All my sweat, blood, and tears, all the years, all the time that I didn't mind, whatever happens, I need to make sure I pay my bills. I need to make sure my bills are paid. I need to be clear of every debt that I have made. I need to make sure that my words are good. Words are important, and they should do what they say they would. So I'm going to work hard for my money. I want to mean what I say. Say what I mean, and I want to do what I say I'm going to do. I'm not going to make a bill to say I owe you and never intend to pay you. I work hard for my money. If I have to cut things out of the equation, if I have to do some things different and change the occasion, that's all right. That's all right. The way I plan to manage my money, I want to do it right. Every dollar in sight, every cent is worth time spent. I work for it, sweat for it. So everything that I get, I want it to be said that I pay for it. Because I work hard for my money. I work hard for the money. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed our show today. Uh, yes, work hard for your money. I, I wasn't playing when I wrote that. I was like so serious, you know, as you can tell. Uh, and shouts out to the AI and Curta Box Deep Dad. Yes, all of the deep boxing going on in the background is completely AI software. Okay, because uh, Miss Taomi cannot afford to pay a band right now. And that doesn't mean that one day I won't have one. But for now, that's my band. Amen. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up. And I just want to thank, thank you again for if you stop by, if you had an opportunity to listen to this, to watch this, uh, if you can check out the links that are in the comment section, I would hope you could do that. I would hope you can do that. That would be awesome. Um, any support that we can get in terms of, of purchases and uh, more subscribers, those are always blessings. Okay, a blessing. You know, a share. If you can't, if you don't want to purchase anything, or you don't have time to purchase something, just share the link. Share it with someone you know who may need um, some motivation in their lives. So we're going to go ahead and just end this show today because we have got to the conclusion. And we have prayed with you that God continue to help you do whatever it is that you're trying to do. We have read a piece of inspirational poetry to you fresh off the top. Yes, not even on not even any book yet. It's not on any um, piece of project or uh, no music behind it yet. That's fresh. And I wanted to share it with you all. So give me some feedback. Tell me what you thought about the company we keep. Let me know what you think about work hard for my money. Love to hear feedback, uh, whatever you got for me. Uh, one day, maybe uh, these spoken word pieces will become songs. I don't know what they're going to become. I just know I keep writing. <laughs> so what I plan to do with that is to keep this creative outlet uh, going in every way I could possibly can. Uh, so yeah, you guys keep me lifted up. I'm going to keep you lifted up. And we're going to share the screen and, and go to the outro. And thank you, okay, for being with us today. Father God, in the name of Jesus. For all the people on the microphone, for all the people that have a song, let's never forget our own. So please cast the mic. No need to worry, no need to think twice. But please cast the mic. Let our voices learn to unite.
feeds past the mic. Let the inspiration inspire unity and let us enlighten. Please pass the mic. Let the positive energy surge and let that energy ignite. So please pass the mic. To give knowledge to a power. Please pass the mic. Maintain peace, sustain power. Please pass the mic.